Welcome back, folks, to the Super Mario Galaxy playthrough. We just collected our 12th power star, and I think we're going to see how much this guy wants to eat. It was, what was it, 400? I think so. Yeah, 400. Alright, and we actually have enough this time, greedy little bugger. Yeah, no kidding. Let me just launch them in, there's like no risk of them choking or anything. <laughs> Aspiration. He does look like he's choking if you see him, though. Wow, well, yeah. True. <laughs> he's all red faced and everything. Now he loses his sentience and becomes an object to get somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. He turns into. Well, that's the question. Do you think he turns into the launch star or this new galaxy? Mm. Or maybe just him being the launch star opens the way to that. Oh. Uh, either yeah, way. I think he becomes a galaxy. They say that, don't they? Yeah. They think. Some of them actually can become full galaxies, so. So he's now this death trap. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean, wait, death trap? <laughs> I'm not gonna die, am I? In this nice cookie cake type land? I like how they have the, uh, I don't know what official name it would be, but like the music you get from most side scroller stages in Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh -huh. Again, going back to how they, they take the classic stuff and redo it for like the new generation. They love their retro references. Yes, they do. You want to be very careful here, because you can see there's a lot of holes and moving platforms, and... You almost saved yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a demonstration of what those actually are. You can't actually see their holes. Yeah, see? Like, they could have just been, like, really interesting pictures that move and look like the background, but, yeah. but aren't. But, no, those are actually holes. So, now that I've shown that off, I guess we're good to go. Yeah, or they could have been glass. That's true. Very clear see-through glass with no light or like light glare or anything on it. Hey, it's possible. <laughs> I've seen it happen, maybe. Really clean windows. Hey, how'd the toads get here? Alright, he says, don't stop here. Alright, I'll keep moving. Now this place is a little risky because it's like one big platform that keeps rotating around the center. Yep. This part's pretty safe. But now we're getting into some dangerous stuff. Oh, there's a free man at least if you need it. And... Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm hurting here, folks. <laughs> at least they give you the checkpoint here. See, I was trying to demonstrate that there are checkpoints at some point. So, uh... Right. That's, why, that, that's why I chose to fall in the hole. Keyword, chose. But I want that. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm going to fall again, of course. Ha 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 ha. But... Just in case. Alright, now this part's a little tricky. It's kind of like the first area. There's like electric uh, barriers you gotta jump over, but they don't give you the full squares this time. Some are the squares with holes cut out, and some are the holes that are cut out. As you can see, I'm having a little trouble navigating these things. Yeah. The good thing with the spin, it gives you a little bit more air time, but it does slow down your forward momentum. And how the... Okay, look. He says, we got a power star. Remember when I met them back in the Honey Hive Galaxy and they were holding it for me? Uh -huh. Why didn't they just bring it back themselves? They have a star shroom now, for crying out loud. It's Look, right there. Look. Right there. Yes. Toads, you guys suck. Apparently, the further along you get in the game, the stupider they get. Mm-hmm. Or become, I guess. Would be... You're, uh... Yeah. But the invasion has begun. They have at least two of those things. <laughs> oh, dear. With many more to come. Oh. Um... So, now we're being informed that prankster comments are appearing, and what prankster comments are, this purple luma over here will explain it, but I'll just kind of go over it quickly. There's four different types of comments that can appear, and I don't know if it's a set pattern or if it's just random, but they will appear in certain galaxies and have different effects. Like right now, there's a red comet, which is the speedy comet. It's in one of the galaxies in the, uh, what's this one, the... Terrace? No. Yes, Terrace. So, the Speedy Comet will actually speed... or no. Speedy Comet puts a time limit on the mission. You have to get it done in a certain amount of time. There's also a Cosmic Comet, which we will see shortly, which is sort of a race against a clone Mario. Um, fast Foe Comet makes every, every enemy and uh, obstacles move twice as fast. And one of my favorite ones, the Daredevil Comet, it's essentially, I think it's only used mostly for boss fights, but it gives you one hit and you die. And you can't get one of those uh, the star mushrooms to power yourself up either. Those are fun because those are pretty intense. You have to do like a perfect boss run against them. But as we see here, the speedy comet is orbiting the good egg galaxy. 
Fine. Means we have Dino Piranha Speed Run to look forward to. I think I can get this done in a time limit, folks. It took me a little while last time, but I was kind of exploring more that time. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Ev? What are my chances? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the vote yeah. of confidence. I've got four minutes to do this. Oh. I haven't actually seen your first run through it yet. Well, let's just assume that it was awesome and perfect and nothing went wrong. Sure. This guy's talking, at least they paused the time and let that guy... That's good. Yeah, that's good. They had him talking. If the time was going while he was talking, that would be a good letdown. Now this planet here, this planetoid, has changed a bit from the first time, because the first time it was those little meteors with the red weak spot. Now they've upped the ante to give you chain chomps. I like how they bark. It's like, ever since the, the days of Mario Brothers 3 when they were on the chains, they bark, which... It's good they kept it consistent, but why would they have barked in the first place? Because in the Zelda game where you have to walk the dog... Link's Awakening. Yeah, Link's Awakening. It, it, it's a dog, I guess. But wasn't it named Bow Wow, I think? Bow Wow, yeah. the chain chomp. Yeah. Or they didn't call it a chain chomp, they called it a dog, even though it was <laughs> a bouncing ball with teeth. And weren't there also Goombas in it too, I think? Goombas? Maybe. Oh, yes, they're yeah. right, in the... In the you know those secrets in the dungeons that you go down the stairs for? Ah! Or go down a black hole. Fail. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, they are in there and you have like sort of side scrolling sections in the dungeons. Yes, I remember that now. Uh, Rock's feather came in handy for most of them. Yes. And you could jump on them like Mario does. <laughs> Sweet. I love how they always do these references that like we were saying earlier. I think it was in part Part 6, I believe, we were mentioning how Link and Samus appeared in Mario RPG. Well, they put Goombas in Link's Awakening, so Nintendo loves doing crossover They also things. put Kirby, I think. Did they? Oh, wasn't he like a doll? No, he was a thing that sucked you in. Okay. Oh. He, he didn't do much other than suck you in. Like... Or maybe that was just a fever dream I had. Could be. <laughs> I like how we're not talking at all about the mission, but we've already seen this part anyway. Uh-huh. Another thing people like to talk about is um, in Mario RPG, you know Gino, right? The, the doll come to life, like Pino yeah. Pinocchio basically with magic power. Um, everybody wants to see him return, and I kind of don't mind that he's like a one-time character because it fits that story, but everyone was all excited when in uh, was it Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Gino actually appears. Mm. And I remember my nephew uh, Miles was saying, Gino's in the game! He exists in the game! I'm like, I played that game, I don't remember seeing him. He's like, no he is! So I looked it up on YouTube, and he shows up as just a doll in a minigame. Mm. And Miles is like, oh. <laughs> yeah. But as you saw back there, there's, you can take the risky way past the chain chomp, but there's a, a jump you can take to take the uh, easier way. Which I should have done the first time, but you know, whatever. I'm here now. That's what counts. Bounce off the Lumen for good luck. Pass these. These guys almost remind me of Octoroks, too. It's probably being like a Sniffit and an Octorok from Zelda. But we've got another 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. We're finally heading to Dino Piranha. Can I beat him within this time limit? Taking all bets. And again, I like how it's, it, it obviously, like, I was gonna say, this obviously looks like the plant from Little Shop of Horrors, right? But I guess every piranha plant has a resemblance to that. Well, I'm certain they all have them now. Yeah, and they're all plants. Mm -hmm. What I find interesting is they didn't bring back PD Piranha for this. Like, they've used him as a multiplayer character in a lot of, like, the Mario Kart games. Uh, he's appeared in a couple other things as well, I believe, but he gets left out, basically. Oh well, I guess he's kind of confined to the Mushroom Kingdom. Mm. Instead we get this guy who really isn't that hard. Apparently not. I still had a minute and 49 left to go. Yay, Mario killed a baby. Again. Who keeps laying these eggs? I don't know, I don't think I want to eat it. It'd be interesting if you actually did get to meet the, the mother at one point in this, but... Spoilers, folks, you don't. <laughs> Although, the size of it, you'd think that... That would have been cool if a, a whole planet-sized piranha plant was a boss. Mm. 
That'd be crazy. Yeah. Just one more failed idea. Or, not... Not failed, but, uh... Not used opportunity, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, missed opportunity. That's the word I'm looking for. Missed. How did I miss that? <laughs> oh, well, I th I'm here I'm trying to check the map and see if there's any more comments, but... Apparently you don't check the map from the pause screen, folks. You can check it if you talk to that black Luma, though. But who wants to talk? Yeah. I'd rather get a visual representation. I'm gonna walk all the way back to the map. And, oh, there is another comet. In the uh, fountain. Let's check this one out. It's another red one, so it's another speedy comet challenge. Which is going to be a time limit one. But we'll see some more later on as we go. How much does this guy want to eat anyway? I don't know if it's a hundred, isn't it? Uh, probably. They get, like, later on, I think one of them wants 1,600 at some point. Oh, good lord. Yeah, that'll take a while. Pretty old buggers. Yep, this guy just wants 400. I like how they have glowing pom-pom star bits. Why don't we get some those? Well, because obviously that's not 400 worth. Well, I suppose, but still, you think but they're they hungry. Strawberries, yeah, you know, something they're... to snack on. Yeah. A little bit of cotton candy or something. Yes, yeah, so she... go to the cotton candy lobby for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nobody will get that. Nope. Alright, we're heading to the Speedy's Pull Star Path, and we'll catch you next time.